The topic of this video is identifying the vertex and axis of symmetry of a quadratic function. A quadratic function is a function of the form f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are real numbers and a is not equal to zero. The domain of a quadratic function is the set of all real numbers. The shape of the graph is called a parabola. Once the values of a, b, and c are known, the vertex of the quadratic function can be found using the formula shown below. The formula for the vertex of a parabola in the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c is negative b over 2a for the x-coordinate, c subtract the fraction b squared over 4a for the y-coordinate. In other textbooks, this part of the vertex is sometimes written as f of negative b over 2a. And what they, end up, what they mean by that is that you would find the x value using this formula, opposite b over 2a, plug the value of x in for the x's in your parabola standard form to get a value of y, and that would be the y-coordinate of your vertex. So there are two versions of this formula and you may use either one. Now, when you have a parabola in this form, a, which is the coefficient of the variable squared term, gives you information about the shape of your parabola. The sine of a, whether positive or negative, determines whether the parabola opens up or down. If a is positive, in other words, greater than zero, then the parabola opens up. If a is negative, in other words, less than zero, then the parabola opens down. The axis of symmetry drawn as a vertical dashed line through the vertex has the equation x equals h, where h is the x-coordinate of the vertex. In other words, h is equal to opposite b over 2a. Sometimes the equation of the axis of symmetry is written as x equals opposite b over 2a.